Hi everyone, it's Yanis here. In a world that is filled with distractions, it is hard to imagine how to work uninterrupted for longer than 5 minutes. And with time, we get used to be distracted, and in fact, we start to crave for distractions, just to break up the flow. But the problem of course is that, when you get distracted, we don't get anything done. So we need something that can help us to get back to productivity, something that works. Luckily, there is a book called Deep Work by Cole Newport. Reading the book and summarizing the main points is great, and that is what I usually do when I review books, but this time I wanted to go a little bit deeper. Instead of just giving some pointers from the book, I thought it would be more useful to share my personal experience on how I practice deep work. I had a fear of writing, probably because I was not used to write, and therefore I was just bad at writing in general. The problem with things that you don't do is that you will be always bad at them, it's just a natural thing. But if I wanted to produce a certain type of content, then I had no choice but to start writing, so I set out my writing goals and started. At first, it was exactly as I expected it to be. It was hard to incorporate writing in my daily routine. I tried writing in the mornings and in the evenings, but none of these approaches worked. When nothing really worked, I was willing to do anything. So what did I do? I tried deep work, and it worked like magic. So here is how I do it. Number one, my preparation. I prepare everything that I might need during the process. When I first started writing, my process was a mess. I would sit down to write without knowing what to write about. So I would start to think about the topics first. Usually, if nothing comes to my mind, I have to research it. This is where our best friend Google can help. I don't have to tell you that browsing web is super distracting, so I would often get sidetracked by some irrelevant content. Once I have my topic, I create Google document and start to outline draft. After that, I would start to write. Usually, by the time I would have to write, I would be tired, exhausted and without any creative energy. And that's why writing was always hard, I was always struggling with it. This is what I do now. I prepare everything so that when I have to write, I can dive into the writing straight away. I do my writing first thing in the morning, so I always prepare everything in previous evening. Then, when I wake up, I do my morning routine and dive straight into the writing. I always have topic prepared in advance and sometimes I also have outline ready. I always create document file and put a title in there, as well as outline if I have it. Some people might think, creating a new document takes 15 seconds, so it doesn't matter if you create it in the morning before writing. To what I have to disagree, it might seem like a tiny thing, but you still have to think about it and use your mental energy that is better used on writing. I also fill up my water bottle in advance, so I don't have to top it up during the writing time. Every little thing that I prepare in advance helps to keep my focus on writing. Number 2. My environment. I also take care of the rest of my environment. I make sure that my room and desk is tidy. I don't like to work in the mess and I find that keeping a tidy room and my desk improves my focus. I also make sure that my environment is free from things that can distract me, like phone for example. You don't want to hear the sound of notification when you're in the deep work. Some people put their phone on silence and leave it on their desk. That's great. But the fact that you can see it alone can create craving to take a look at it, maybe just to check out the time. So I personally prefer to leave it in another room, that way it is totally gone and I don't have to think about it. Another huge restriction when we are talking about distractions is email. If there is something that can derail your efforts while you're working on your computer, then that is email. So I set it as a rule to myself not to use email during deep work sessions. And this also applies to any other web browsing, as it can get me distracted. I will occasionally browse web to confirm some of the facts that I want to state in my scripts, but if I can, I always choose to stay away from browsing web. Number 3. My mindset. Mental preparation is part of the game. I don't suddenly come up with idea to write. I know in advance exactly when and at what time I'll be writing. I have included deep work sessions into my weekly schedule. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my content preparation days where I focus on writing. 
I write between 6 a.m. and 11.30 a.m., knowing that I can prepare my mind to be focused during that time slot. Once everything is prepared, I'm ready to immerse myself into deep work. This is where the magic happens. I'm focused and I'm getting writing done. What I slowly discover that I'm not bad at writing as well. So I was never bad at writing. I was bad at practicing writing. More I write, better I become. Let's take a look at a couple of pointers that you have to take care of in order to put yourself into deep work. Separate deep work from shallow work. Do all little things separately from the deep work. Don't mix shallow work tasks into your deep work sessions. Like I shared above, I prepare my document file beforehand, as well as fill up my water bottle. This will allow you to be more focused and productive when it comes to actual deep work session. And don't just plan five hour long sessions, plan your breaks as well. You need to let your mind rest during the deep work. I like to do 15 minute breaks every 90 minutes. Prepare beforehand. Deep work heavily relies on preparation. So be sure that you really put effort in preparing your sessions and you'll be able to reap the benefits of full focus. Build a routine. More you do something, the better you'll be at it. I always keep my deep work slots in the same days and at the same time. And my body is getting used to it and naturally goes in a deep work state when the time comes. Don't just avoid distractions, eliminate them. Distractions are the enemy of productivity and deep work. If you only do two things, leave your phone in another room and don't check your email, your productivity will increase by 300%. So if you want to increase your productivity and finally get things done, then I suggest you to give deep work a try. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button below and I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you want to manage your time better, have more structure in your life and achieve your goals, make sure you check out my time planning application. You can set goals and track progress towards them, create time blocks and build your own daily structure, as well as log your time and measure your performance. Best of all, it's totally free. So press here to check it out right now. I'm working on new videos every day. So be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.